What are transgenic organisms? Transgenic organisms or genetically modified organisms, GMO, are known as all those living beings whose genetic material has been adulterated by human intervention as a result of genetic engineering. This may involve artificial selection, controlled crossing of species, or techniques of inserting genes into the genome of a species, known as transgenesis or cisgenesis. Genetically modified organisms are usually microorganisms such as bacteria or yeasts, but also animal and plant species, which serve as input for experimental scientific studies or as a source of so-called transgenic foods, whose consumption may well be a solution to the issue of hunger in the world world or a catastrophe for the planet's biodiversity. The production of this type of living beings and their commercialization or worldwide distribution is controlled by what is established in the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety, 2000, and often constitutes cases of reflection by the scientific and political community regarding concerning ethical and moral positions that this type of genetic manipulation brings to the table. Types of Transgenic Organisms Medical and food substances are obtained from transgenic microorganisms. In principle, we can distinguish three types of transgenic organisms produced today. Transgenic microorganisms. These are yeasts, fungi and bacteria, generally used to obtain medical and food substances of great importance. Before these types of techniques were discovered, for example, the production of insulin for human use was very difficult and expensive but thanks to genetic manipulation, it can be obtained from bacteria whose genome has been manipulated to insert human protein genes. Transgenic animals Transgenic animals are usually intended for laboratory use, either for understanding the genetic dynamics of life, or for obtaining human proteins or transgenic foods. For example, after studying the growth hormone of mice and managing to manipulate it to obtain larger specimens, it was possible to generate cattle with greater mass and faster growth, thus feeding the meat industry more efficiently or generating cows with greater capacity. Milk Generator for the Dairy Industry Transgenic Plants Transgenic plants are usually food crops, and they have been modified to maximize their fruit production, to resist more extreme environments or pesticide products that used to harm them. Many of these transgenic species are harvested for the biofuel industry. How is a transgenic organism obtained? Transgenic animals are unable to breed new individuals with their genome. Cross or hybrid species have been common for a long time, especially in some fruit species, lemon, apple, etc., and in the case of mules, donkey and horse hybrids. However, hybrids are always sterile, unable to father new individuals with their genome. Today there are various techniques to insert or delete genes in the genome of the cells of a species and make them heritable. On the one hand, the desired genes can be injected using specialized devices within the cell nucleus, or other living beings with the ability to transfer genes can be used, such as certain types of viruses, lentiviruses, and bacteria, such as Agrobacterium tumefaciens. This type of transfer can occur between species that are very distant from each other, or more easily between close species, such as two potato varieties. Advantages of Transgenic Organisms Transgenic organisms give us the enormous advantage of being able to obtain biological or biochemical tools that would otherwise be difficult to obtain, which is extremely beneficial for the advancement of modern medicine, the pharmaceutical industry and food technology. Animal or plant species that produce more food more quickly may be the solution to problems of scarcity and hunger in the world, and also represent a great step in understanding the dynamics of genetics and inheritance by biology. Disadvantages of Transgenic Organisms Not everything is perfect in the world of transgenics. On the one hand, the effects of GMOs on human health and nutrition are a source of debate, since some claim that they could be directly linked to the increase in the incidence rate of various ailments and diseases, although there are still no definitive conclusions on the matter. On the other hand, the risk that modified species pose to natural species could be a huge blow to the planet's biodiversity. The large corporations that manage transgenic products, such as genetically modified seeds to grow more and better with less water, do whatever it takes to introduce their products on the world market, guaranteeing immediate and profitable results for local producers. In this way, the modified seeds end up replacing the natural or unmodified variants, 
which is a competition in fair that could lead to the extinction of variants of maize, wheat or sorghum that grow slower and yield less, but that have existed for millions of years. Examples of Transgenic Organisms Some known examples of transgenic organisms are The first genetically modified food was in 1990 for the Flave SAVR tomato, which decomposed at a much slower rate than the ordinary one, allowing it to be harvested closer to maturity, and not before, anticipating shipping time, which gave them more flavor and more nutrients. Golden rice is manipulated to generate vitamin A precursors, which makes this grain a nutritionally reinforced food through genetic intervention. Aquadvantage salmon is a type of Atlantic salmon fish that has genes inserted from Pacific salmon and pollock for a larger version that grows year-round, not just summer and spring. GM mosquitoes, resistant to malaria or dengue, were created in 2010 as part of the strategy to eradicate this disease.